everyone, so today we're going to cover the chromosomes, genes, and protein section in the IGCSE biology syllabus. And since this section is quite long, I've taken the liberty to just split it into two parts, and this will be the first part. So before looking at the process of protein making, I'm going to mention some definitions that you have to remember first. So the first one is that chromosome is a thread-like structure of DNA that carries the genetic information in the form of genes. And gene is a length of DNA that codes for a certain protein. For example, a gene that codes for insulin, different genes that code for different enzymes, different genes that code for different antibody molecules, different genes that code for different receptor molecules for neurotransmitters. And alleles are just different versions of a gene. So an example of this would be human hair colors. So all human hair colors are determined by just one single gene. However, different versions of this gene give different versions of hair color. So essentially it gives different hair colors. Different alleles would give shades of like blondes or brunettes and all that. I'm not really an expert. So yeah, let's move on to the process of protein making. Um, so what's important to remember is that the DNA molecule which carries the gene that codes for a protein or different proteins will always remain inside the nucleus. And what happens is that an mRNA molecule or messenger RNA molecule will be synthesized inside the nucleus and this molecule will carry a copy of the gene for the protein that we're going to make. And this copy of this gene is based off of the base sequence in the DNA molecule. So this mRNA molecule then just travels into the cytoplasm and then it passes through a ribosome, which is an organelle. This ribosome then has the function of assembling together amino acids in order to synthesize a protein molecule. And it does this using the sequence of bases in the mRNA molecule. So essentially, the base sequence on the mRNA molecule will determine the order of the amino acids that are assembled together in order to make a protein. And if you'll recall, the base sequence of the mRNA molecule is based off of the base sequence of the DNA molecule, and therefore, the base sequence on the DNA molecule will indirectly determine the order of the amino acids assembled together by the ribosome. Something else I need to mention is that because as you can see that a DNA molecule will determine what protein molecules are made by the cell, the DNA molecule would essentially be controlling the function of that cell. For example, different cells could make different enzymes, different cells making different antibodies, different cells making different receptors for neurotransmitters and synapses. So yeah, also what's also important to note is that all cells in an organism will have the same DNA. However, because all of our cells specialize, for example, in your pancreatic cells, only the genes that are responsible for coding for insulin will be expressed. Whereas on your head, the only genes that are expressed would be the genes that code for hair protein. And all the other genes that are not needed, for example, you don't really need hair growing out of your uh, pancreas, they will be silenced. So yeah, I hope I've explained that well enough. And next, I want to summarize all the contents of this video. So, so let's go over the definitions first. So a chromosome is a thread-like structure of DNA that carries genetic information in the form of genes. A gene is a length of DNA that codes for a specific protein. Alleles are simply different versions of a gene. When you're making a protein, the gene that codes for that protein will always remain inside the nucleus. But the mRNA molecule will take the copy of that gene into the cytoplasm where it passes through a ribosome which then assembles the amino acids together in order to make the protein that is required to be made. So the order of the amino acids that are assembled together will be determined by the base sequence of the mRNA. And because of that, base sequence in a gene from the DNA is the genetic code for assembling together amino acids in the right order to make a certain protein. And I stress on right order because all proteins have different orders of amino acids, so yeah. A cell's function is controlled by its DNA since the DNA will control what protein is being synthesized by that cell. And the DNA in all cells of a single organism will all be the same. However, cells only make certain proteins in order to serve the function that they were given. 
So this means that many genes that do not code the protein that the cell needs to make will just be silenced and they will not be expressed. So yeah, I really hope this video has been helpful. And if it has been, please leave a like. If you're more curious on this process, I actually have a series that consists of three videos that explains it in a little more depth than this. This is simply only for the IGCSE syllabus and what is required for it. So yeah, I mean, if you're curious, check that out. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Bye!